Okay, it's been a normal week, but ever since a lot of things been mixed matching and everything going away, I'm confused at what day it is really. But anyway, good morning guys. Um, today is, so far, is a good day. It's sunny, it's shining. I'm by myself in the house. Woo! Um, Zachary has a doctor's appointment, so they're gone. So I have the whole house to myself. Yes! Let's see, I have a whole list of things I've got to keep, i got to do today because I am so behind. I'm behind in editing my videos. I have this weekend's, I have like four videos to edit. Um, hopefully that's it. I mean, I have obviously today's and then Monday's, but that can be put on hold until I get the other ones done. Um, as long as I get last weekend's videos up and going. We're all peachy keen here. Um, but yeah, I am like two weeks behind on chores, so the house is disgusting. There's like crumbs and dirt, and now with having Mo in the house, cat hair, it's like, oh my gosh. It was so much better when we didn't, I mean, it is better with not having so many animals in the house, but now that we have this foster cat still, I don't know what, someone needs to take her off our hands, please. Um, Lord, please send someone to get her home because we just do not want her. Even though I'm thinking to myself, yeah, you probably do. Mom keeps saying, I don't want this cat, I don't want this cat. And yet, you're not doing nothing about it. It's like, apparently you do want her. Because she's still here. Anyway, we kept telling ourselves, like, oh yeah, we're going to find her home. It's not as easy as we think. How's my week? It's been pretty decent. Um, Pretty normal, I guess you could say, which is great. I'm glad for some normalcy where things are just going smooth. Um, traffic was, of course, a little crazy, mainly yesterday, getting home. But that's pretty typical on Thursdays in the evening. Well, pretty much any evening, but Thursdays for us because it's a lot later um, on those days. Yeah. <laughs> Went grocery shopping this week. Hit all of our stops. Got some ice cream. Shame, shame on us. But <laughs> anyway... <laughs> We really need to just cut back on. It's, we have been cutting back on the ice cream, by the way. It's just I don't know why it is, what it is on the weekends. We just kind of want to splurge a little bit, but I actually saw at all these. My favorite ice cream was this, which are the strawberry shortcake ice cream pops. Oh, I love those things. I've loved them ever since um, elementary school when we would get them at. Um, once a week, our mom would give us, I think it was like 50 cents to a dollar, I don't know, it's probably a dollar, and we'd give them, and we'd choose between different, um, little ice cream bars, whether it was like the orange, orange dreamsicle ones, which were really good too, strawberry, or the chocolate, um, sh shortcake cookie ice cream bars, which were my favorite, always. I always try to get the strawberry if I could. If not, sometimes I get the chocolate one. There was the chocolate fudge ones, which were really good, too. I don't remember. I don't know if they had the drumsticks. I wasn't a huge fan of those. They're okay. I just, I don't know. I think it's the chocolate fudge stuff that just tastes artificial to me. I don't know. At the time, at the kid, as a kid, I didn't really like them. And it was the peanuts, also the peanut thing. I was not a huge fan of peanuts back in the day. <laughs> now I don't mind them. But, yeah. 
So that was just kind of like nostalgia. Anytime I can get one of those things, I will most likely get them, but... <clears throat> like if we go to like um, a restaurant that has those type of things, like the Chinese restaurant, or is it... Ch is this the Supreme Buffet, but I think it, is it Chinese or Japanese? I don't know. I think it's Chinese, but they have like American food and also it might be Japanese too because they have sushi. They have the hibachi grill. Um, but anyway, um, they have those in there, so I usually get one of those, so. Or the chocolate ones, whatever is available that if they don't have a strawberry, I'll get something else. But yeah, yummy. <laughs> So, yeah, I have my puzzle to work on and stuff like that, my dots. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you an update on that. I've gotten pretty far on it. I've got pretty far. As you can tell, i got a lot up here. I've got a lot up here. We're going to your ears and past your eyes. But I've got all this done, so I'm so excited for myself. He's starting to look like Lou Skyler. So I've got like, starting from like here up. So I've got more than half done, so I'm so excited for myself. And eventually start on the other one as well. I'm not going to start anymore. After I'm done this puzzle, I'm not going to start on anything else as far as that puzzle is concerned because... Unfortunately, uh, my family is going to be coming in soon, and I might be sharing a room with my niece. And I'm trying to prepare myself to ha with having little kids around just to put things away. Um, I'm kind of, I don't know if you will call it OCD, or I just don't like people getting my stuff. I don't think my niece will, my oldest niece will get into things, but my youngest might. I'm not sharing a room with my youngest niece, but my oldest one. And I'm like, I prepare myself like I need to make, I know where I want to put the air mattress for her. I just got to move the one chair and then I already prepared. I was like, I don't want them touching my dollhouse because that's fragile. It's not to be played with. I'm not even done with it yet. Um, yeah, I definitely want my puzzles put away. I don't want that left out for them to get into. I'm not saying they're really young where they'll put it in their mouths or anything. I doubt it if they do that. But nonetheless, I don't particularly want things where they are curious and rip or tear or anything like that. So, yeah, I have to make sure things are up and, like, I have where my candle's back there. There's a um, lighter. I gotta hide that. Yeah, there's just a lot of things, little things I need to put away just so to prepare, like, baby-proof, even though they're technically toddlers now, toddler-proof things and... Yeah, I'm pretty sure my oldest niece won't get into things. Oh, and that's another thing. My privacy is going to be taken away as far as filming and stuff. I might have to film outside. So you might, you guys might be getting a new perspective here pretty soon. I might be filming outside just so I can get away from noise and stuff. Because I doubt if I'll be able to... First of all, I have a hard time filming in front of people anyway. And then second... I don't know if I can show my nieces and nephews on the vlog, so I'll be able to take pictures and clips of them for my memory purposes, but I won't be able to have them in the vlogs. So there's that. I would love to do a video with my sisters if both of them should come out. I'm not sure if my oldest one will want to do it, but my second oldest sister might. Hopefully, I think she's more easygoing and be able to want to do stuff like that versus my oldest. She's kind of backward about that situation, but that's just her personality and that's okay. Honestly, I was the same way for the longest time. I did think I would want to film or do videos and I just got myself into it and I love it. So, it's a person's perspective, um, opinion, you know, that type of thing, so... I'm not going to thrust the camera in front of someone if they're not comfortable with it, so. Anyway, i got to get myself going. I've got a whole list of things to do, and I have to deal with a cat that still happens to be inside the house. Hopefully she'll want to come out. Especially when I get the vacuum cleaner, she's not very fond of that. 
and I figured out a way to get her out if I have to because she hates this one sound that I do and it's it's one way I can get her out without you know picking her up because I don't pick that cat up she's crazy but anyway I'll see you guys at some point later so okay guys I am back it's already the evening <laughs> no surprise anyway um I got majority of my chores done I dusted I vacuumed I even mopped um, didn't get all the, as I, Momo's paw prints, the flooring that it did not come off of, or barely, it's still there. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> I did my best, and that's all you can ask for, right? And the floor is looking a lot better, there's not crumbs everywhere, so I'm grateful for that. Um, let's see, what else got done today? I worked on my puzzle a little bit, I worked on my dots a little bit, I kind of had to stop because my light box is starting to get dim, so I was like, okay, it's time to charge you, and <laughs> okay, for the life of me, I didn't realize at first because like there's a little pocket on the outside and I noticed, I think yesterday or something, oh there's a strap, and I thought it did come with a charging cord. And I thought maybe my phone charger would work. Well, that's too small. And then I looked on looked for other ones. Again, too small. I was like, shoot, what am I gonna do? I looked inside the pocket. Of course, the cord was there. Duh. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't it come with a cord? But anyway, I was having a panic moment for just a hot second right there. But all is good. It's charging now. Um, let's see what else. Did I get anything else done? No, I did started to uh, childproof my room a little bit. I put some of the breakables away. Slowly but surely, I'll be putting stuff away. Not saying they're going to be coming in here a lot, but who knows? Who knows if they're going to be getting in here? And I'm like, I need to evaluate how I'm going to do this. I also thought about putting my big round chair over by my dollhouse in front of it so then my dollhouse is not even shown even though I have my dollhouse turned around so they can't play inside of it. But I'm going to make it even doubly sure and put my chair against there. Um, I thought about just collapsing it because the air mattress is going to go in front of my couch here for my one niece to sleep on. That way it has room. I don't want it put over where my in between my dresser and my bed because then I forget it's there and then I have to sneak my way out. The only thing that's going to bug me is the door. The door is what's going to cause probably her to stir. Hopefully she sleeps soundly through the night and she won't hear it, but I don't know. I don't know how this is all going to work. It might not be so bad when the days I'm not working, but the days I am working... That's when I'm having a panic mode because I'm like, I don't know how this is going to work. So, but I think we're going to just have to deal with it and yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am slowly but surely getting things done so that's good. I did not get to the bathroom, shocker, I know, but I plan on doing that tomorrow along with editing some more videos. I did edit two videos. So I'm halfway there. I have two more to do tomorrow. So I have those two and clean the bathroom. So with all that being said, it is everybody's favorite time of the vlog and it is Bible time. Guys, I'm so sorry I didn't do Bible time this last, last weekend. I apologize. I just didn't really think I would have time or Again, I was in some, I was in my grandparents' house, didn't want to, like, intrude too much, I guess. I want to spend time with them more than, you know, vlogging the entire time, so, yeah. And so the videos are going to be kind of short. I noticed one of them was only, like, 12 minutes versus usually, like, 40, 35 to 40, 45 minutes. You're probably thankful for that, but <laughs> nonetheless, yeah. Anyway. Back to Bible time, you guys. I don't know if you guys really like Bible time. Some of you might, some of you might not. I don't know. But anyway. 
feel like I keep reading like the same chapters. But maybe not. Okay, so we're in Exodus chapter 40. I can't believe we're still in Exodus. When I am already all the way to Psalms. Personally, for me, I am already way into Psalms now. And we're still in just an Exodus. <laughs> But we're almost done, so we can be grateful for that. I think this is, is this the last chapter? Yes, this is the very last chapter of Exodus, so let's get started. This is titled, The Tabernacle Completed. Then the Lord said to Moses, Set up the tabernacle on the first day of the new year. Place the Ark of the Covenant inside and install the inner curtain to enclose the Ark within the most holy place. Then bring in the table and arrange the utensils on it, and bring in the lampstand and set up the lamps. Place the gold incense altar in the, in the front of the Ark of the Covenant. Then hang the curtain at the entrance of the tabernacle. Place the altar of the burnt offering in front of the tabernacle entrance. Set the wash basin between the tabernacle and the altar and fill it with water. Then set up the courtyard around the outside of the tent and hang the curtain for the courtyard entrance. Take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all its finishings, furnish, furnishings to consecrate them and make them holy. Anoint the altar of the Lord, sorry. Anoint the altar of burnt offering and its utensils to consecrate them. Then the altar will become absolutely holy. Next, anoint the wash basin and its stand to consecrate them. Present Aaron and his sons at the entrance of the tabernacle and wash them with water. Dress Aaron with the sacred garments and anoint him, consecrating him to serve as a priest. Serve me as a priest. Then present his sons and dress them in their tunics, anoint them as they did their father, so they may also serve me as priest. With their anointing, Aaron's descendants are set apart for the priesthood forever from generation to generation. Moses, per, Mo, sorry, Moses proceeded to do everything just as the Lord had commanded him. So the tabernacle was set up on the first day of the first month of the second year. Moses erected the tabernacle by setting down its bases, inserting the frames, attaching the crossbars, and setting up the posts. Then he spread the coverings of the tabernacle framework and put on the protective layers just as the Lord had commanded him. He took the stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant and placed them inside the ark. Then he attached the carrying poles to the ark and he set up the ark's cover, placement, the place of atonement on top of it. Then he brought the ark of the covenant into the tabernacle and hung the urn inner curtain to shield it from view just as the Lord had commanded him. Next Moses placed the, ta the table in the tabernacle along the north side of the holy place just outside the inner curtain and he arranged the bread of the presence on the t table before the Lord just as the Lord had commanded him. He set the ta lampstand in the tabernacle across from the table on the south side of the holy place. Then he lit the lamps in Aaron's presence just as the Lord had commanded him. He also placed the gold incense altar in the tabernacle in the holy place in front of the inner curtain. On it, he put, he burned the fragrant incense just as the Lord had commanded him. Another little sidebar, which is called Big Changes. Exodus began in gloom and ends in glory. The Israelites were once Egyptian slaves making bricks without straw. Now they're, now they're free and on their way to the land God promised them. This parallels our progress as Christians. We begin as slaves to sin, are brought, bought at a price by God, and end our lives on earth with the promise of living with God forever. Is that a promise you're counting on? I don't know about you, but I am. He hung the curtain uh, blah, blah, at the entrance of the tabernacle, and he placed the altar of burnt offering near the tabernacle entrance. On it, he offered a burnt offering and a green offering, just as the Lord commanded him. Next, Moses placed the wash basin between the tabernacle and the altar. He filled it with water so the priests could wash themselves. Moses and Aaron and Aaron's sons used water from it to wash their hands and feet. Whenever they approached the altar and entered the tabernacle, they washed themselves just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then he hung the curtains forming the courtyard around the tabernacle and the altar and he set up the curtain at the entrance of the courtyard. So at last, Moses finished the work. The Lord's glory fills the tabernacle. Then the cloud covered the tabernacle, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. I feel like some of these sentences are so redundant, in my opinion. 
anyway. Moses could no longer enter the tabernacle because the cloud had settled down over it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Now, whenever the cloud lifted from the tabernacle, the people of Israel would set out on their journey, following it. But if the cloud did not rise, they remained where they were until it lifted. The cloud of the Lord hovered over the tabernacle during that day, and at night fire glowed inside the cloud so the whole family of Israel could see it. This continued throughout all their journeys. And that is the end of chapter 40 of Exodus and the final chapter of Exodus. So now we'll be, oh my gosh, sorry Lord. Oh my gosh, that was a nasty spider just now. Oh, that scared me. Woo, not that I'm scared of spiders by the way, but it just shocked me. I was like, oh my gosh, you know? Where did it go? Is the real question. Hopefully it's not crawling over me. I thought it killed it, but who knows where it went. Wait, is that it? Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh. Die. Die. Okay. I think it killed it. Yep, I did. With my finger. See, I'm not really scared of it. I'm just like, I want it dead. Because I don't want it crawling around and laying its disgusting eggs wherever. If it happens to be female, I don't know. Who knows? But nonetheless, it doesn't deserve to be living inside my room. Anyway, it's dead. I'm fine. All is good. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was quite a scare. But anyway, Leviticus. I think it more just startled me anything because it just like popped up all of a sudden I was like what in the world I'm not really scared like I said I just killed it with my finger and I don't care so anyway <laughs> I'm rambling about a dumb spider um okay so thank you Lord as always for your living breathing word and now it's devotional time this is called the clincher and we're reading from Job chapter 19 I'm just in Job. Chapter 19, verses 23 through 27. Alright. Oh, that the my words could be recorded. Oh, that they could be inscribed on a monument, carved with an iron chisel and filled with lead, engraved forever in the rock. But as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and he will stand upon the earth at last. And after my body has decayed, yet in my body I will see God. I will see him for myself. Yes, I will see him with my own eyes. I am overwhelmed at the thought. By the way, if you hear anything in the background, that's my AC unit. It's at least a lot quieter than my last one. The other ones were extremely loud. I'm glad this one is way quieter. But anyway, that I'm being sidetracked. Sometimes the most important part of, of job interviews comes with the interviewers suggest to the interviewees that they relax and get to know one another over a meal or a cup of coffee at a restaurant known for its slow service routes, servers, or subpar food. Here, the interviewers may be able to observe key things about their potential employees. Are they polite, even when the servers aren't? Are they patient? How do they handle unpleasant situations? Later, if jo job seekers successfully pass the test, they might find out that the thing that clinched the job for them was how they behaved when the waitress spilled their coffee or forgot to bring the ketchup or etc etc character shows itself in adversity i know that my redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand upon the earth job was dealing with a whole lot more than cold fries considering there was no cold fries then not sure when they actually came out, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have fries back then. And yet, the way he dealt with it was defining mo moment, a clincher. Job declared his absolute faith in God's ability to bring his situation to just conclusion. Have you ever been surprised by another believer's response in a difficult situation, and why? Okay, have I ever been surprised? 
Um, in some ways, I think, in some ways, both ways, whether, um, because some majority of us would just flip out, um, for the majority, whether we're a Christian or not. Um, sometimes I am surprised when someone is calm in a situation, especially if I know they flip out pretty quickly. Um, and I am surprised when a calm person does flip out because half the time you know they're calm for the situation so it goes both ways um i do see it from just different perspectives how that can be surprising by either way what things what things about your faith in god are revealed when you experience pain or injustice my patience can be tiresome it can be um worn out um, like right now, you know, I'm experiencing, um, some situations through my life and it's been difficult. I think the balls are up in the air. Um, my faith is being tested right now. How much am I going to get through this? How, if I'm going to stay with and trust God that no matter what, he's going to get me through it. So it has been hard to experience because it is it is definitely painful because you don't know the uncertainty is there and it, you don't know if if you're going to get through it obviously deep down inside I, I know that I'm going to get through the situation but there are doubting Thomas moments in my life that I'm like uh I don't know what to do <laughs> so my faith is being tested and it's been painful but I know I'm gonna get to the other side I do feel that end of that tunnel coming through anyway that is our devotion time I hope you guys got something out of it gosh there's a bookmark um oops I hope the vlog wasn't too boring for you guys um I'm back to my old boring self so there's nothing really exciting is happening at the moment but and I will be getting videos up soon so bear in mind uh, yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog as always keep on smiling stay positive I love you guys Jesus loves you and I'll see you guys next time bye